So today we've got some lithium motorcycle batteries from Innershare. Well, they sent four, and I think there's a difference between two. There's a C version and an A version. And the manufacturer says the C version has super capacitors built in. So I guess it's a lithium iron phosphate battery with super capacitors uh, in parallel or something. But that's really got me interested. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna open one up that has the super capacitors and we'll see what, what that's like. Well, we'll open one of each. I agreed to, to, to review these because I did have some viewers that were asking about batteries that would start engines. And well, that's what these would be. Uh, I'm not sure it would start a car engine, but it would probably start a lawn tractor. And of course it's made for a motorcycle. It looks like it has, yeah, so it has some spacers. That way it can fit, I guess, different motorcycles. Now these are only four amp hour capacity, but it can do 400 cranking amps. <laughs> That's pretty wild. So it's gotta be, it's gotta have like some heavy duty BMS in there. Let's open it up. Sorry about the music. Uh, my neighbors are like having a party. Or maybe you like the music. Okay. And so here we go. Look at that. So there's the BMS. Is this like a... Looks like pouch cells. Oh, look, it has a... A weather seal has a uh, like a seal in, in the battery case. So that's good. There we go. Ooh, that was tough to get up. Check that out. So this must be, yeah, this is like a super capacitor bank right here. So these are like a lithium iron phosphate pouch cells. Look at that big. See, we got eight gauge silicone wire. So the, capa the super capacitor bank is connected basically directly to the terminals. Should we charge this up and do a capacity test? Why not? But before we do that, let's open up the other one that's, that doesn't have the super capacitors. I'm guessing it's going to be the same thing, just minus the super capacitor bank. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it's basically, it's exactly the same thing. Just, wait a minute. It has a single capacitor in there. That's weird. It looks like it has one single regular capacitor. Whereas this one has a bank of super capacitors. Okay, well, we're gonna charge one of these up and do a capacity test. And after that, we'll actually install some of these in, in some motorcycles. Okay, they also sent me this little charger. It uh, does, okay, so it outputs 14.6 volts. So that would be a 4S lithium iron phosphate specs at 2 amps. So if this battery is completely drained, which it shouldn't be, I've, I expect it to be probably maybe 50%, but if it was completely drained, it would take... Uh, two hours for this charger to fully charge it. So I'm assuming it's probably gonna take about an hour. So let's give it a shot. Uh, I've got a red light, I'm assuming that's charging. And uh, I think it'll turn green whenever it's complete. So I'll come back when that's complete. 
All right, so we got it uh, set up on the discharge tester. All right, so we're gonna pull a capacity test. Pulling 10 amps, let's raise that up. Well, we probably should lower that actually. Let's do four amps because that'd be a 1C test. All right, we're going to let that run and I'll be back. All right, so the test completed and we pulled 4.074 amp hours. So that exceeds the rating on the battery. And we've pulled 51.5 watt hours and that exceeds the rating as well. 51.2 all right so it passes the capacity test now we just got to find some guinea pig to put this into their motorcycle <laughs> all right so we're going to install one of these batteries in this yamaha mt03 all right so it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit this battery is a little s smaller, so we're going to try to squeeze it in. All right, we squeezed it in there. We did have to make a little adjustment here, <laughs> but it's in. So now we're going to try to crank it, hit it. Nice. Yeah. all right so final thoughts on this oh well by the way the battery that we installed in that yamaha was this the a version so the one without the super capacitors so the c version obviously will give you more cold cranking amps with the uh, super capacitors in it i just wanted to make sure that the a version was going to be able to to crank that bike but uh it seems like a pretty good battery it's kind of a one size fits all uh, with some adjustability as you could see in, in installing it in that yamaha the original battery in that one was thinner and this one was a little bit wider so we had to kind of move things around a little bit uh, there was a little control module that was off to the right side that we ended up having to put on top of the battery and strap it in other than that uh, the other thing that I noticed was it seems like most motorcycle batteries have squared terminals and I think that's because the the ring terminal on on the motorcycle batteries is has some flaps that fold over the sides of that square terminal to keep it from probably moving based on vibrations Whereas this one has a round terminal, so you're not going to have that uh, kind of locked in situation with the, with this. So that's one thing maybe you need to consider. I think that's going to be the end of the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.